for survivors of violent crime. It will let them know when their abuser's been served a protective order and when it's set to expire. A victim's advocate says it is a step in the right direction, but it is not enough. And state capital reporter Connor Hendricks joins us now live with what one survivor turned advocate says the state should be doing. Connor? Well, Beth and Jim, Tiffany Allison never got notified that her abuser had been served a protective order or when it was set to expire. She did get notifications of when her abuser was moving from jail to jail, but they didn't come until the middle of the night. Iowa Attorney General Brenna Byrd is making changes to both of these systems. Allison says the most dangerous time for a survivor is right after a protective order has been served. That's why she says these changes Byrd is making will increase safety. But while Allison says these changes are a step in the right direction, more still needs to be done. There's a large gap in um, victims in Iowa knowing what their rights are. Um, it's definitely something that we could work on here. And there's also no mechanism for enforcement of crime victims' rights in Iowa. Allison says state lawmakers could do more to protect survivors, such as lifetime protective orders. That's so the survivor never has to be close to their abuser again. As for Bird's office, they say they're still coding the system, so they're not exactly sure of when that new system will be up and running. Live at the Iowa Capitol Bureau, Connor Hendricks, KCRG-TV 9 News. All right.